dealing with bed bugs can affect your relationship like they affected my marriage and, and i want to tell you a story about how bed bugs got between me and my wife so my wife and i you know we sleep in the same bed like a normal marriage couple that's doing well but i gotta tell you like when we got married i already had bed bugs before she moved in with me uh we didn't live together until we got married because you ain't supposed to do that i got the fear of god in me so when i moved into this new apartment and we were about to get married right it was just like three months before we got married and then i noticed some red bug crawling on the wall and i didn't know what it was so i took a picture of it and i sent it to my landlord and then he said that oh well i thought that it was a bed bug because i did some research but i didn't know how crazy the bed bugs were like how crazy they were so he gave me some bed bug spray i sprayed and then i thought they were gone away but oh man they just continued to increase and increase and increase and so when i was getting married i had bed bugs when i was bringing my wife into my new apartment we had bed bugs hey but she loved me enough to still marry me <laughs> you gotta pick the right girl so for like the first year of our marriage we struggled with bed bugs it was insane right i thought that you could just spray and spray and we got all kinds of things trying to spray it was crazy so the bed bug spray that the land road gave us i think it was like harris spray or something like that i don't think it worked well but what i realized is that even if you have the best spray in the world like crossfire people like to use that some people saying that well even if you have crossfire uh it doesn't always work but the issue isn't that crossfire isn't working or that these bed bug sprays don't work because if you go on to amazon or whatever if whatever site you go to where you bought it if they're reviews and because Amazon is really popular. So if you go there, you see people that will say that, hey, it works, that the bed bug spray works. But if you use it and it seems to work, but then the bed bugs come back, it's not really the spray that's the problem. These things are made in labs and they'll they'll work, you know, if 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 they still work on the bed bugs. The problem is the process, and that's what we found out is that even if you have the best spray spray that works even if like you see a bed bug and you spray it and it dies meaning the spray works simply using that alone the bed bug spray will not get rid of a bad bed bug infestation and our infestation was really really bad like it was this same this same mattress that you're seeing here it was really bad you know so when we were sleeping like we could we, we, we would see bed bugs crawling up especially during the night it was so bad so i was getting frustrated i bought a steamer to try to to steam the bed bugs and the thing was quite expensive like 300 bucks i think but we never ended up using it i think i re returned because we had started to to succeed in getting rid of of the bed bugs so what i did was i did some research trying to figure out how to how do you get rid of these bed bugs and i think it was the, the, the same harris um spray on the back it gave you some tips on how you get rid of them so the first thing i realized is that you cannot get rid of bed bugs by just using one thing like one method the different methods that you have to use to get rid of bed bugs but you have to <clears throat> you have to do them in conjunction you know so the first thing we got was a bed bug mattress cover and what that does is that it protects 
your mattress from bed bugs but also an important an important thing is that if there are bed bugs inside the mattress they won't be able to come out and so the most important thing is for you to get relief from the bed bugs because if you don't get that it will drive you insane you'll be crazy even if you still have bed bugs inside your bedroom if you can get some relief from the bites from crawling on top of you from waking you up in the middle of the night from all the anxiety that you feel because you're not getting enough sleep or the embarrassment that you feel because you really can't tell anybody that you have bed bugs because it's embarrassing so you need to first get relief and you do that using two things or three uh, you get a mattress cover right if you can't find a mattress cover you just have to clean your mattress really well and maybe find a cover that may not be bed bug proof but if you can find a bed bug proof mattress cover you um you know cover your mattress make sure you get the right size make sure it says bed bug proof if you don't know the ones that i use click the link uh, check the description of this video and you're going to see the ones that i recommend and i still have it on right now and then you get a bed bug trap i've tried all kinds of i've tried all kinds of traps but the ones that work for for me were the ones that have you know like it's a little cup and the leg of the bed goes in between those have worked i even put up a video on amazon to seeing that it worked so those and then you move your bed away from the wall right or from any stuff and you make sure that your sheets are touching the floor so bed bugs can't crawl doing that will prevent any bed bugs from climbing on top of you all right making sure of course that any bed bugs that are on the bed like in your bed sheets you, you gotta wash and dry your bed sheets on high heat to kill the bed bugs and the eggs if you have a headboard i would get rid of it unless you really need it because they tend to just get inside the headboard what a mess our headboard was i had to take it out at three o'clock in the morning it was bad all right so once you get some relief from the bites then you can think then you can formulate a plan to get rid of them so the way the bed bugs got in between my wife and i in the marriage is that they were biting her more than they were biting me though they were, they were, it seemed like they were more on her side right so she left the bed which made me really sad and then she went to sleep on the couch <laughs> So after that, I realized like, look, man, I'm the man of the house and I need to take care of business. I need to solve this problem. That's when it got real. When bed bugs get in between your relationships, it gets real. After that, I really had to figure it out. So what I did was I uh, removed all the beddings from the mattress. I bagged up all the laundry and did laundry that day. Boy, it was a long day. And then I also uh, put diatomaceous earth on the carpet because we had a lot of uh, stuff on the carpet underneath the bed. Put that diatomaceous earth, waited two hours and then vacuumed it off. And that, uh, the diatomaceous earth would kill any bed bugs that were struggling you know stay down there and, and underneath there if 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 you're struggling with getting rid of bed bugs what you're probably getting wrong is the process like the specific step by step um steps <laughs> that you need to take to get rid of them if all you're doing is like you're not on a schedule you're spraying anytime you have cleaned some things but not other things you need to be really thorough like really really thorough with getting rid of the bed bugs so when my wife moved onto the couch in the living room i was really sad and i had to fix the problem of the bed bugs so then uh after we got rid of the bed bugs in the bedroom you know that i call that bed bugs banishing day because it was a day for killing as many bed bugs as you can it was a difficult thing and that's what i teach in uh the coaching like how to get rid of bed bugs in one day it's it's possible 
if you have like a smaller apartment uh, but I think it might be difficult if you have like a, a big house but if you really want to put some muscle into it you can get it done it's a lot of work but you really learn how to get rid of bed bugs you know like you really learn how bed bugs behave uh, let me know uh, if you're struggling and you have like you just don't know what to do so after that after my uh, wife moved on onto the the couch I worked hard to get rid of the, the bed bugs and then she came back and I was very happy but what we found out later was that the bed bugs had followed her to the couch and so bed bugs they'll follow you wherever you go because you're the food source just like people people go to where the jobs are because the jobs mean their food so bed bugs do the same thing and so we had to get rid of the bed bugs from the couch and we had to take off the cushions and uh, spray inside the couch and make sure you know we cut we kept on doing that you can't just uh, clean up or spray one time and then just let it go we did it for four months all right so like one month the, for the first month we, we were spraying twice a week and then for the the next three months like once a week uh, and so after that I even found them in my office chair I got a different one the one that I have here is you know that's a new one because I got rid of the one that had bed bugs in it so bed bugs will hide in wherever most likely the places where you sit you need a process a specific process uh, to do this otherwise it's gonna be like a long struggle and you're gonna just feel so frustrated and so tired and I absolutely feel for you it's a terrible thing but make sure you get my download my free eight steps to permanently getting rid of bed bugs it's in the description below this video I go through the steps that I took to get rid of the bed bugs I also send you some tips through email of um, how uh, more 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 tips for getting rid of the bed bugs so this is my story about how bed bugs came in between my wife and I in my marriage and when we got married I had the bed bugs <laughs> look they're so hard to get rid of there's so many people that have bed bugs Thanksgiving is coming up in the US and Canada I think and look man <laughs> look, you gotta be careful because your relatives probably have bed bugs and they ain't gonna tell you no, it's too embarrassing right now to ask these things I'm trying to make it more so that it's part of our conversation but it's just a real thing like you gotta go you gotta protect yourself wherever you go because these things are spreading they're increasing they're just all over the place you need to be defensive everywhere you go I still have on this bed right there I still have the mattress cover I still have the bed bug traps as you can see them there and actually have the same stuff like the same carpet that we had the bed bugs on and the bed bugs are like gone right and so even today if we were to like bring bed bugs in because we have the defense mechanism they wouldn't spread right they would be localized you need to get educated about bed bugs that's the I think that's the number one thing that uh, most people like that you're liking if you're struggling that you don't know how bed bugs behave so you are confused or you're doing things that you think are working but they're not working or you are overwhelmed you've done a lot of research but the stuff just doesn't make sense that's why I created a program to put things in step by step for you because it's so overwhelming online you find a lot of information sometimes conflicting information and you just you're so tired from struggling with the bed bugs and you're not getting enough sleep and because you're not getting enough sleep you just it's like a battle and you're not winning and you're tired and frustrated and you feel overwhelmed you feel like you that they will never leave that's the biggest fear that the bed bugs will never leave but oh look man I struggled with the bed bugs 
and they've been gone. They've been gone for three years and we sleep in peace now. You can do the same thing, but you need to get educated about them. And so get my free eight steps to permanently getting rid of bed bugs. It's in the description below. And uh, let me know what you think about it. You can send me an email and let me know. I'm going to make some more videos to help you completely get rid of bed bugs. And I hope you liked my little story about how bed bugs got in between my marriage. <laughs> but now we're free because I beat the man. I ain't going to let nothing come between my wife and I. You got to fight, baby. You got to fight. All right. I hope you like this video. Watch the next video. Uh, watch the playlist because it will show you all the videos to help you permanently, completely get rid of the bed bugs. Download your free PDF, 8 Steps to Getting Rid of Bed Bugs, and I will see you soon.